So, you've just bought yourself a new type of Raspberry Pi. No, 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 not that kind of Raspberry Pi. This type of Raspberry Pi. So you get your SD card, plug it into your Pi, put the cables in, and boot it up. You look, and well, that doesn't look like Windows. What is this? You see, and it says Raspberry Pi OS. You just push that off since you don't know what that is. Then you then go and do what every normal person does. Goes and downloads 7-Zip, right? You download the installer, double click, and it won't launch. Then the thought's going through your head. But what? It doesn't launch? What am I going to do? How can I continue on with my life? What's the meaning of this? But then you look up and you see something coming towards you. It is box 86 and why? Wait, 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 wait. What is Box 86? What is wine? I don't understand. Well, let me tell you guys. So, Box 86 is an emulator for the x86 user space tools on ARM. If you didn't understand anything, it's all right. So basically, it allows you to run x86 Linux applications on an ARM device like the Raspberry Pi 4 and x86 applications are the types of applications that will run on your standard normal PC, laptop, anything like that. They're usually x86 or modern ones would be x86, x64. So you can only run 32-bit Linux applications on this ARM single board computer, but Box86 like translates that and allows us to run it on this board. Okay, we understand what Box86 is, but what is Wine? So Wine is a free and open source tool that basically translates Windows applications to be able to work on Linux. And on the Raspberry Pi 4, Wine is working with Box86 together to allow us to run Windows applications on an ARM single board computer like the Raspberry Pi 4 right here. So they are both very useful tools and just about a few years ago, this you couldn't do this on the Raspberry Pi 4, but thankfully to awesome developers like Pitset, the guys who were at Pi Labs, and BotSpot, we can now install this on our Raspberry Pi 4 so easily, and it does work quite well. So let's jump right into how we can do that. Okay, so the first step in doing this is actually going to be installing this app store on our Raspberry Pi 4. And this app store has tons of apps. It doesn't only have Box86 and Wine, but those are some really cool apps that it does include. So this app store right here is gonna be called Pi Apps, and I've talked about it in my videos before. It is a wonderful app store. So to install it, go over to your web browser and type in Pi Apps. Just search that in the web engine right here, and when you see this github.com one right here, click this one, that's where we're, gonna, we're going to need to go. So go right here to BotSpot Pi Apps, scroll down, scroll down, to see to install Pi Apps. So click this icon right here to copy the text copy it open up the terminal we actually don't need the github page anymore but i would recommend you guys go through and look through that too but here we are in the terminal so right click and paste hit enter and now it's going to grab everything we need to have pi apps working and installed on our current system and pi apps i mean like i said before it has tons of applications it's come so far in its development since it had begun but it's just an incredible app store for the raspberry pi 4. bots by the developer is an amazing guy and he has done an incredible job all right so right here we can see it says installation complete so we can go ahead close out the terminal we don't need it anymore click the raspberry icon right here go over to accessories and go to pi apps it will take a little bit to launch but you do see a nice loading screen and there is the wine logo actually so one of the things that we're doing is on the main loading screen interesting so we can click tools right here double click tools First of all, we will be installing Box86, just to show you guys what Box86 really is and 
because we are going to need it. So click install right here and it will go ahead. It's going to actually add this repository to your system that gets weekly updates of Box86. So every time in your system, you're going to type sudo apt update. Your system will actually check for Box86 updates as well as your other system updates. So you will hopefully always have one of the later Box86 updates. You won't have to go ahead and manually update it, which is something I think is pretty useful and nice that they've done that ahead and install that for us okay so you see it says install box 86 successfully closing in 30 seconds we can actually go ahead and manually close it ourselves so click the x icon right here give it a second and pyaps is actually going to open right back up but if you're just not sure if box 86 is actually installed first of all you can look at that little tick mark right here so we it says it's installed but if you want to check yourself open up the terminal and type in box 86 hit enter and you see all of this text comes up and well you might not understand much from it but it is installed and this right here says this is box 86 the linux x86 emulator with a twist so box 86 is successfully installed in our system great job so next step is going to be to install wine So we're actually going to scroll all the way down in the tools category. So it's going to be at the end right here. So click wine x86, click install. And this process does take a little bit longer than box 86. Just let it do its thing. It's going to download all the necessary files. And after that, we will have wine x86 installed on our system. So here we have it guys, Wine is successfully installed on our Raspberry Pi board. So we can go ahead, close at the terminal. And PyApp should launch open right back. And you might have noticed when doing that, that the installation time was quite a long time. And well, because the team over at PyApps has done an amazing job by just like thinking of every little thing that you might want with having Wine installed. And that's why it's just taken a long time. Like if we click our Raspberry icon right here, we can go over to System Tools. We have all of these Wine applications. So first of all, I want to show you guys one app that works with Box86 and I could try to install one myself, but PyApps actually has one that I can install that just makes it really easy. So if I go over to the internet tab, I can scroll down right here to Zoom and this is a full desktop version of Zoom. The people over at Zoom have not built a version for ARM. So this version right here is going to be a Linux x86 application that is going to be installed and it's going to be ran on my system using Box86. So it's just really cool that I can run a desktop version of Box86 on my Raspberry Pi 4. And if you're someone who needs Zoom, actually this may be a method that you want to try. So I'll just show you guys this one app running with box 86 so you can see that box 86 actually does work but this isn't the only app of course you can even run linux x86 games and other stuff like that check out his github page or his website for more information so we have zoom successfully installed now so i'm going to close this and we aren't going to need pi apps anymore so i'll go ahead and close that now but definitely give pi apps a look so I can go right here, I can go over to the internet tab and open up Zoom. So it makes a nice icon for me so I don't have to launch it from the terminal. But you can see right here it says launching Zoom with Box86. So this is going to be utilizing Box86 on my system. So give it a second and it's going to start to launch Zoom. It does take a little bit longer than a normal app because it is emulating this. you got to keep that in mind when you're using an app like this and bam! Here we go, we have Zoom working on our Raspberry Pi 4. We even have that little icon right here in the taskbar. How cool is that? I mean, this is just awesome to see it working like this. But I am not gonna join a meeting. I, I do tell you guys that it does work. I have tested it before, but we can close out of here now. We don't need it anymore. Exit. So that's just showing you guys what you can do with Box86. That's one app that you can run, but sure there are tons more that you can run too.
So let's jump over and take a look at the pre-included wine applications that come on our system. So we can click this icon right here, go over to system tools. And first of all, we have an app right here called wine configuration. Let's click on it. Let's see what it does. So wine configuration basically allows us to configure wine like it says in the title, change some settings if you do want to. But honestly, I don't really think it's that important since the default settings seem to work well with the few applications I have tested. But if you do really want to try, you can do that, like changing the output device, changing the input device, etc., etc., with the audio, with the graphics. But I would just leave it how it is. We also have the Wine Desktop. So this is basically like a Windows 95 experience inside of our Linux desktop experience. So if you did want to go ahead in this desktop right here, like go, let's say click the start menu, go to control panel and go to add new programs. You could go ahead and install applications inside of this desktop by going to install and you can access your Pi's folders from here. So you go over to downloads, find that exe file in here, click open and try to install it. But honestly, I don't really love trying applications inside of this desktop because I feel like installing in the default Linux desktop just makes more sense, it's cooler. So I would rather go ahead, go over to system tools, go to the Wine Program Manager, and in the Wine Program Manager, it's that same application that I just showed you, but it's going to be running straight in our Linux desktop instead of in that uglier Windows 95 desktop experience. So I would just stick to this if I were you. But again, preference is preference. We also have the Wine Killer, which is going to kill wine processes. So we don't really want that. We also have a Wine Reset, which we can basically reset all of our wine configurations. If you if you messed up with wine, you could click this and reset everything. In the Wine Task Manager, it's going to be basically like in the name, a task manager for wine, where we can see our different processes and see if everything is working okay. So we don't have any applications running right now in Wine. So there's going to be nothing showing in processes. These are, these are our current processes and in performance, we have our CP usage, memory usage, etc. So it's definitely old, old style. It looks Windows 95, older generations like that, but it is still there. I don't know how much you will need it, but it's cool that they include it. We also have a wine tricks, which can be used for some special applications. I don't know much about it, but if you do, definitely you can look over on Google, find more guides, etc. If you need to know more about wine tricks. So yeah. So now we've seen all of the installed wine applications. They look pretty cool, but now I want to see an application that's actually running inside of wine. Well, let me show you all. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download two applications that I want to install inside of wine. So the first one I'm going to go is 7-Zip and the second one I want to go is going to be Notepad++. These are both very simple applications, but I know that they both do work inside of wine. That's why I want to go with it. But you you can also install games and stuff like that. So here is 7-Zip and this Wine version only runs 32-bit Windows x86 applications. So we're going to download the 32-bit.exe file right here, click download and right here in Notepad++ I'm going to go to the latest version and I am going to download the 32-bit installer, that's the version that I would rather have and they're both, both already installed so i can close out of there so first of all i'll show you two ways to install applications in wine so first of all you can go over here to the wine program manager give it a second to launch and this way is going to be through a graphical instances instance it might be a little bit simpler a little bit easier for some people so we can go ahead and click install right here and go over to our downloads folder that's where our files should be and right now it only shows one installer.exe file well i do have two so when you click this right here i'm going to go programs and now we can see both of them i don't know why it doesn't show 7-zip when it's on install installer files but it just works both ways so let's start out with 7-zip or notepad 8.2 this way and then i'll show you how to install 7-zip all from the terminal so click open give it a second to launch you do have to be patient since this is running through a translation layer and through box 86 so select your language okay 
and click next so this is going to look just like a windows installer so if you if you use windows windows before this is going to be very similar click next next install and bam we're going to be having notepad plus plus installed on our linux system pretty awesome if i do say so myself click finish so wait for the installer close we can close add new programs as well bam here we go notepad plus plus is running on our linux system through wine and box 86 i think that's pretty cool i know you probably don't really need this application but it is pretty cool to see it running on here and it works as functional as most apps the performance seems all right like i can type there, it might be a little bit of lag, but for the most part, it seems to work fairly well, and I think it's pretty awesome. And if you may ask, where do I find this application? How do I actually open it? You can click your app icon right here, and you're going to have a thing right here that says Wine. Go to Programs, Notepad++, bam, click it. Notepad++ should open for you, and you have a nice launcher in your app launcher. So. This just makes things so simple and to be able to have notepad plus plus on here is pretty awesome so quick correction earlier i said that i would install 7-zip from the terminal but it just doesn't seem like it would work it used to work on the older builds and i even showed it in one of my old old videos but right now it just doesn't seem to be working so i guess we'll go back and install wine through the add or remove software thing so we'll click right here go over to system tools go over to the wine program manager and we'll install 7-zip from there so i don't know why it's doing that exactly but i mean it's not a problem to have to install it through this add or remove programs either so click install we have a windows version of 7-zip running on linux right now raspberry pi os on our pi 4 and we can access our files from here it's pretty awesome you can go over to users pi and we have access to like where's downloads right here here we have access to our installer so we can actually access our system from 7-zip that's running through the line it's all pretty amazing and it let's say you did want to uninstall one of these you can go right here like click notepad plus plus click modify remove and i think you should be able to uninstall it yep you can uninstall notepad plus plus through the admin program so this guy right here is going to be pretty handy when wanting to play around with Y. So before I end the video, I want to give a few shout outs to some amazing people. So first of all, bots about the creator of Pi apps. Thank you to him for making and installing Wine and Box86 on our Raspberry Pi 4. Super easy, it's super useful, and it just sets everything up so well with all these nice menu icons. It just works, and that's what I love about Pi apps. It just works. And then thank you to Pitset for creating Box86 for us and then also creating the wine to work inside of Box86. He didn't create wine, but he makes he allowed it to be able to work inside of Box86. Huge thank you to him. And also guys, if you want to see games running inside of Wine and inside of Box86, check out the YouTube channel Micro Linux. He makes a lot of videos about Wine compatible games on single board computers, not only the Raspberry Pi 4, other boards as well, but he's got a great channel so check him out. And if you have any specific game you want, you want to learn to see if it runs on this board, check out his channel. He might have already made a video about it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.